Drew Liske here with Orion Outdoors Company, and today I'm going to go over uh, some simple steps for cleaning and maintaining your over and under shotgun. I've got a Fabarm Elos N2 over and under here, uh, which I'm going to use as my prop to show you how to clean and maintain an over and under shotgun like this. Uh, there's some pretty simple things that you need. Uh, you're gonna need a micro microfiber cloth. You're gonna need some gun oil, some gun grease, a bore brush, and a bore snake. Uh, these are really the only tools that you need to do a like a field strip and clean of an over and under shotgun. Uh, the over and under shotgun process, at least the one that I use to clean and maintain my shotguns, is kind of a six step process. I'll go over those six steps here and these six steps are really going to make sure uh, that your shotgun is going to be clean, uh, that you're going to be you know, limiting the amount of rust, cosmetic, or mechanical wear and tear on your shotgun. Let's get started. The first step is definitely the easiest step, and it's a step that you should be doing anytime you're handling a firearm, pretty much anywhere, and that's to make sure that the gun is unloaded. Uh, here we've got the gun action open, no ammunition in the gun. Uh, pretty much regardless, whenever you're handed a shotgun or whenever you've got a shotgun in a different space than you had it last, it's important to make sure that it is unloaded. Uh, step number two is to disassemble your shotgun. So I'll do that here. Uh, disassembly of an over and under shotgun is really easy. Uh, typically with most over and unders, the forend is what keeps the gun together. Uh, this gun has a lever here in the middle of the forend. Some guns have an Anson release at the top, uh, which can be used to remove it. We're going to pull that lever down, and we're going to use our thumbs and push the forend away from the gun, and then vertically pull up with the forend. That's going to disassemble the forend. Now you notice I kind of made a particular note to pull the forend up vertically. Uh, so whenever the forend is going on and off, we want to limit the amount of cocking that we have of the forend. We want to put it in vertically and on and take it off vertically and off. That's going to limit the interaction that the wood on the forend is going to have with the extractors. Now every over and under shotgun is a little bit different. Uh, so for some guns that's not a problem. But a lot of guns with exposed extractors it's important uh, to make sure that you're not bumping the wood on the extractors else you can cause some damage, some you know, cracks, scratches, ships in the forend itself. So it's going to assemble, disassemble the rest of the gun. Uh, we've got our top lever here. We're going to push that open and then the gun is going to come apart in its three main parts. The stock receiver, the barrel, and the forend. Step number three is to use a microfiber cloth and some oil to wipe down all the exposed surfaces of your gun. Uh, a particular importance is all of the steel or metal surfaces. Uh, so I've got a, a microfiber cloth here and some oil. Uh, we use and recommend G96 gun treatment. It's a, kind of a do-all lubrication protectant and cleaner. Uh, one thing that the G96 does do, or rather does not do, is cause damage to oil finished stocks. So a lot of over-unders have an oil finished wood stock. Uh, some gun oils can interfere, damage, and remove oil finished stocks over time. Uh, G96 does not do that. It does not interfere with oil finish stocks, and it'll only clean your metal, which is what you want. So we're just going to take some of the aerosol of the G96, spray it onto a cloth, and then we're going to rub all the exposed steel surfaces down. That's going to be the barrel, the monoblock on the barrel, the chambers, and then we're also going to do that on all the receiver surfaces. Just a nice and easy wipe on all the metal. It's going to maintain the gun and make sure that no rust is going to form on it. We're also removing any used grease, any used carbon buildup, or any other debris or dirt that's going to get into the action of our shotgun. Lastly, we've got the, the forend. Just going to do the same thing, removing all the old grease and any other buildup on there. Now we're going to go into step four. Uh, step four is kind of a continuation of step three, and now we're going to clean the metal on the inside of the barrel. Uh, so we're going to clean the barrel. Easiest thing to do is to take G96, the same oil that I just used, and spray it into the bore. And then we're going to take a bore snake, and we're going to thread it through the barrel, uh, and pull that all the way through the barrel, and that's going to clean the internal of the chamber and, and all the way to the muzzle. What I like to do with that is I leave the chokes in for the first pull, and then I'll remove the chokes and then use the, the bore snake again. That way we're getting the inside of the choke cleaned as well as the threads that the chokes go into, both. 
Hey, Orient Outdoors fam, Drew here. If you're loving the fine guns and outdoor content we're showcasing on our channel, make sure to give it a thumbs up by hitting that like button below the video. It lets us know you're as excited as we are. For more premium content and to stay in the loop with everything that we have for you, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We've got a lot of finely crafted firearms, gear reviews, and adventures in the pipeline for you. Join our community and be the first to experience the next level of outdoors excellence. Hit like, subscribe, and let's keep the Orion Outdoors adventure going strong. Thanks for being a part of our journey. So now that we've cleaned the inside of the barrel uh, by running the bore snake through it once with the chokes installed and once with the chokes uninstalled, I've got both of the chokes here in front of me. Uh, I keep this in the same step as cleaning the barrel, but we're going to clean the chokes real quick. Uh, we're just going to rub a little bit of oil on the threads, clean them off, both of them. Get that choke nice and clean and shiny again. And then we're going to use our bore brush to clean the inside of the chokes and around the threads on the chokes. And before we install the chokes, I like to put a little bit of very, very light grease or some more oil on the threads of the choke, and then we're going to throw them into the, the muzzle. Now we're going to move into step five, the second to last step, which is greasing the gun prior to your assembly. Uh, so the over-under shotgun has a lot of friction points that require grease. That way the metal is moving on itself uh, without causing any damage or friction contact on the receiver, the barrel, and the forend. Uh, over-unders are made a little bit different depending on the model. Uh, so other different spots, uh, depending on which manufacturer of shotgun that you use. However, a lot of them are very similar. Uh, with the monoblock, which is the section here on the barrel, uh, we want to make sure that we're going to grease uh, the exposed steel surface here. Uh, that does make friction contact. A lot of guns will have a jeweled uh, system here to keep grease. Uh, there's also two spots here where the trunnions meet inside of the receiver, uh, which is good uh, to make sure uh, that we're greasing those. And also the foreign latch, which is going to attach the foreign iron to the barrel. Uh, in terms of grease, there's a lot of different options out there. A common one is rig, which is a really thick universal gun grease. Uh, we've also got other greases that are kind of a medium consistency, uh, like Kriegoff's Gun Glide. And then uh, Wilson Combat makes a really good grease that's easy to apply uh, that has kind of a little bit more closer consistency to oil. Uh, being that we're up in the Midwest, it does get cold. I suggest using a little bit less thick uh, grease. Uh, that way you don't have to worry about it freezing uh, during a Michigan winter. Uh, some of the thicker greases like this rig can cause problems as it gets really cold. Uh, so I'm going to use the Wilson Combat Grease, which is primarily what I instruct people to use. It's got a nice applicator here, which makes it very easy to apply into all the surfaces that you want on your shotgun. So we're going to put it in those spaces that I mentioned on the monoblock. And I'm going to rub it in with my finger. A little bit goes a long way. You don't want to overdo it with grease. If you put too much in there, it can actually cause problems. Some of that grease can migrate into the trigger mechanism and or the internals of the gun that are behind the stock. And now that this has been greased, I'm going to assemble the gun. Uh, starting off with the stock receiver and the barrel, we're going to put them on one another and close. We're going to put a little bit of grease here on the receiver where it meets the forend iron, rub it in with my finger. You can alternatively also put it on the actual forend iron itself. We're going to put the forend on. We're going to use uh, the rag and wipe down any excess grease that may have come through on any of the hinged areas. Wipe down the rest of the gun. And now that it's assembled, we're ready to go shoot it and then repeat again after we're done. Uh, those are the six steps uh, for keeping, cleaning, and maintaining an over-under shotgun. I hope that it's helpful. Uh, it's a very common question that we get and a lot of people uh, do not do these six simple steps, uh, which ends up creating uh, more issues down the road. Uh, number one being just cosmetic issues where maybe your chambers have got rust or your barrels have got rust, or you've got you know hairspray, sunscreen, or other types of, of acidic materials that are on the receiver causing problems to your finish.
Thank you very much. Appreciate your time. You guys have a great day.